welcome. My name is Sasha Mason and I am Head of Programmes for Education and Lifelong Learning. And the title kind of speaks for itself. I work with a lot of mature learners in my role. And I've been asked to talk to you today and to share with you some of the sort of top tips for how you might cope with your learning here at BGU. One of the things that I think a lot of our students have said to us is that we have a lovely learning community and you are very, very welcome as part of that as mature learners. And you form a very important part of our student body. So what am I going to suggest to you? Well, I've got three top tips for you. The first one is as a mature learner, you are juggling many different elements in your life. You may have children, you may have um, mortgages, you may have jobs, you may have many, many things that you're trying to just manage as part of your whole life. And then you think, well, where's my studying going to fit into this? And my advice is to get organised and to think about it primarily as a job. So if you think of your studies as a little bit like a job, you would make sure that everything was set in place so that you would be able to get there on time, that you would have scheduled times when you would be doing it. And I really recommend that you do that. So you have prioritised time in your weekly schedule where you are going to find the opportunity to study. And I would make a designated study space that is yours, that you own, that is in your home or your um, in, in your flat or wherever it is that you feel that you want to be. But it's really important that you've got organised because and you stick to that timetable, because otherwise what will happen is, you know, a friend will ring you and then before you know it, that time has gone. So it's about getting really organised. And I've had to do that a lot in my uh, student career um, and, and to make sure that you actually get all of those things that you need to do done. The second one, which is perhaps not always the most well received, is that actually when we're doing some learning, we can expect to feel uncomfortable. And that means that you are just that little bit um, feeling I don't really know what I'm doing. And I want to reassure you that is absolutely normal and that is very much part of what it is to study. So embrace that funny feeling in your tummy, embrace that feeling where you think, I don't really know how to approach this because it's finding your way out of those problems that is actually where the learning takes place. So embrace the struggle and don't feel that you are not able to do this because you are feeling that struggle. That is perfectly normal and you need to just make friends with that. My last top tip, is to use the university a bit like a gym. So if you're somebody who literally pays for a subscription to a gym, but then you never use it, well, you're not going to get the body of, of a goddess or a god, are you? So my advice is make sure that you use all of what BGU has to offer and all of the services that are available to you. And Keep in touch with your tutors, keep in touch with everybody so that we can help to assist you to do what you need to do to complete your studies. So you've seen my face now and hopefully you will see me on campus very soon. If you see me in the curiosity tea room, you see me in the refectory or just wandering around the campus, come and say hello to me. It's always really lovely to see you and just have a little sticker that says I can do this because you can and we will help you to get there. Have a really successful time and a good academic year and I will see you soon.